because if you go to a shop, they will charge you a lot more money. As you could see, it's the same spark plugs, Autolite, Iridium XP, right here. It's the same. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'll show you how to replace the spark plugs on a 2014 Kia Optima. This is a third generation, so from 2010 to 2015, it's the same process. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I do is take off the negative of the battery. It's a 10 mil, just for safety. And then we come right here, we remove this uh, cover. It's not too hard, just pull it up, it, it should come right off. Yep, there you go. These are the plugs right here. Got one, two, three, and four. You need to pull this one back a little. And then all you do, all you do after that is just press on it and take it right off. We're gonna grab our ratchet. So it's a, this is a 10 mil. It comes right off. And all you do after that is just pull the coil out. There you go. Looks nice and dry. You're gonna need a, a 5 8 socket. I have it right here. It's a 5 8 socket with a, a good extension and a 3 8 ratchet. Basically, all you do is put this in there gently make sure you catch the spark plug and gently turn it so after i use the ratchet i just you know unscrew it with my hand so now we got this as you can see that's how it looks right now it's a denso I do not have the same. I have the auto light, but it doesn't make any difference. It's basically the same. In here. So before you put this back in the cylinder, you just uh, you put some NECs around it to make it easier on yourself when you're taking it back out next time. So I take a little bit of NECs right here. Just go around before I put it back. And then we grab this again, our 5 8 socket. Basically, put it right back in here. And you put it right back in the cylinder. Like I said before, I uh, just use my hand first. And when I feel like it's getting tightened up, grab my 3 8 ratchet. Very smooth. Then we take it out. Next thing you do is put the coil back in there. But you know, before any before you do that, just make sure it's all dry. So I usually just wipe it off. Even if this was dry already, but I wipe it off anyway. And then put this right back in the cylinder. That's good enough. And what you do is, you just put this right back in there. And you push it up. And there you go. Now we've uh, officially replaced our first uh, spark plug. And uh, it's pretty much the same process as we go that way. So I'm gonna do number two, three, and four. So 
there you have it guys. In about 20 minutes, I replaced all four spark plugs, starting with this one, one, two, three, and four. So you could do it yourself, it's not that hard. Because if you go to a shop, they will charge you a lot more money. As you could see, it's the same spark plugs, Autolite, Iridium XP, right here. It's the same spark plug. I bought each of them for seven something, and they were gonna charge me $19 for each. Okay, so that would be 76 plus I think uh, labor is 54, so that would be $129. And I bought all these, all four of these for about uh, um, seven times four, that's 28 something plus tax. Okay, and then I replaced it myself. So anything you could do by yourself can save you a lot of money. If you like this video, please smash the like button. And if you made it this far, please consider subscribing as I'll be making a lot more DIYs in the near future. So once again, thank you. Stay safe. I missed that. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.